Hey everyone, it's Raul back with R&D Moving Star Supplies. We're back in for another video. We've been doing a few videos on this book. Uh, I would call, call it almost like a manual that we wrote. We wrote it because uh, we had a lot of customers and um, uh, a lot of people that came in and asked us questions uh, of which they seem to have no uh, awareness whatsoever what to do. Uh, from uh, what, how much, what do I need for backing? How much do I need? Uh, should I use a mover? Uh, how do I find the mover? What's a good mover? What do I do to help the mover? Uh, uh, from uh, looking for real estate agents, lawyers, like it's a lot of questions that came through. And including, including in some cases, crossing the border, moving to countries. I had a personal experience with somebody that went from here to the States. Uh, so we decided, you know what, Let, let's put a book together, some manual that they can, people can uh, read. Something that meant to be as a book, but more like a manual, something that's easy to read, fun to read, but yet gives you the, the most vital uh, pieces of instruction. That way it makes the, the process easy. From the moment you decide, you know what, I'm going to move from my apartment when I'm going to sell my home to the next place you're going to go to or next country you're going to go to. Uh, so we decided, you know what, let's put it together and uh, either in some cases we give them away and other case when people spend so much money in the store, we give them away. Uh, we sell them through Amazon and we also real estate agents and movers buy them because they're very uh, handy because it, it educates the customer it does half the job of what they have to do especially for a mover because people have no idea they never used a mover what do i do how do i pack uh what do i do to come in how often do i talk, talk to you how do we get this going uh, selecting the right mover it's, it's it's a lot of questions so you know what we just said give it to the movers buy them give it to the client when they sign their their, their contract and the client knows what to do from the beginning when they decide to the moment when they pack the stuff in their new home, okay? So we've been talking a lot of things about a lot of topics. And our next topic is going to be how do you find a lawyer? How do I find the right lawyer for, for uh, to if I am selling my home? Why do I find a lawyer? And uh, I'm a real estate investor as well besides uh, doing this here, besides being one of the owners. Um, of R&D moving store supply. So I have a lot of a lot of experience with lawyers. Uh, and uh, I would say, you know what, is when it comes to finding a lawyer, you can go through newspapers, you can go through advertisings. Uh, most of the lawyers don't really advertise. Uh, not very often, we accept the guys that are scammers that want to scam these insurance companies that have much money they want and use you to load up their pockets, right? Uh, in some cases, they're pretty bad. Those are the ones you see a lot of advertisements on. But most lawyers, uh, the, 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 the best way to find a lawyer is through a real estate agent. Real estate agents deal with a lot of lawyers and sometimes other lawyers that know the experience of this lawyer. Because a real estate agent, uh, the moment when the real estate agent puts the deal together, it, it starts, they, they bring in the customer and they follow, they are attached to this deal all the way through. From the beginning when they, they when they the, the the sales agreement gets signed in other words when the seller and the buyer get together agree on a price they sign the the sales uh, agreement to the moment when the, the customer gets one gets the paycheck in, in their hands and you want the, the other one hands the paycheck to the lawyer so basically the the, the, the real estate agent is all the way through so a success the only way this real estate agent is going to collect this commission and this customer is going to be happy is when this deal is, is closed not only the, the, does the deal have to be closed on time, or hopefully before on time, meaning early in the day, the, the, both banks are synchronized to one release the, uh, the mortgage and the other one take on the mortgage. One writes out a check, another one uh, um, collects a check. So this lawyer is in tune with everybody, including a hydro company, phone company, uh, or cable company, gas company water company uh, water heater all, all these things like the lawyer works with all these people to make sure it's like sort of a a a, a, a race to, to to an end that everybody has to work perfectly together the one this customer that specific day at that specific time the deal the deal gets signed and keys gets exchanged checks get exchanged and these companies boom come together and do a, a quick swap of names okay so these real estate agents follow this through with this lawyer. So after so many deals, right? If this lawyer is no good, the, the, the real estate agent is gonna, just going to dump him and tell everybody, yeah, this guy is no good, don't go there. But when the, real, the, the when this lawyer is efficient from the beginning to the end, 
has a lot of efficiency, multiple repeated to repeat repeated sales and and purchases. Uh, then the real estate agent knows, like they have full exposure to to lawyers. Another company, another ones that have done lower, you know, about good lawyers is insurance companies. Uh, we an insurance agent that does insurance uh, that writes insurance for homes, uh, property insurance. They also know lawyers. Because a lawyer that messes up is always going to be a, a headache and a half for insurance companies, title insurance, things like that. It's a pain in the butt. So, but I would say as a, uh, as a real estate agent, uh, from, as a real estate investor, and from our experience to, with customers that visit our store, the, 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 the best source of uh, finding the right lawyer is a real estate agent. In fact, when you sign the deal, they will automatically, they will just link you up to the right person. Because believe me, if you were a real estate agent, you wouldn't want uh, a, a deal to go sour, right? You'd want to make sure that things go as smooth as possible from beginning to end, and you have a very happy customer, and there's no hiccups. Because all it takes is a small hiccup to make the closing day a nightmare for both. Because if anything happens that they cannot sign, because the only way to sign that agreement at the end is to make sure that things are lined up. Because things, if things are line, not lined up, it's not going to happen. And we also have some experience with us where people are months without being able to change homes because there's a mess up. Some people are a, whole, a day or two, some people are a week. And we also do uh, you haul rentals. So we have people renting a truck, expecting at the end of the day to close the deal, to be able to say, you know, I'm gonna move my home today. They call us at the end of the day. I cannot return my truck because I could not close. My lawyer messed up. And they could not close it. Then all, most all, most closings also take place on the, on, on Fridays, and it goes through the weekend until Monday until banks and everybody op opens back up. So these people have to go into hotels. It, it gets messy, really messy. And especially when this person that, that sold their home, right, everything went good. Now they're coming to the home when they're they just bought. They just handed their home to somebody else. They have to get everything out, and they cannot come to this home they just bought because somebody, a lawyer messed up. It gets kind of bad. So if you want the right lawyer, go to find the, the right to real estate agent, we will find you the right lawyer, okay? I think that's it. Any questions you may have, please let us know. Any uh, uh, comments uh, that you may, any suggestions you may have, post them below. Subscribe to our channel. We're also always posting videos. Uh, our aim is basically, basically to be as helpful as possible to our to the viewers. And uh, if any questions, let us know. And also subscribe to our channel, as I mentioned. Any comments, and uh, like the like the video. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye.